Welcome back one and all. Uh, Jim here. I am now out of the area of Husa and I am in Hamura in West Tokyo and I'm about to go to uh, what they call an off house. It's two stories, lots of stuff including lots of video games and other things. So stick around we'll be in there pretty soon here we are everyone we finally made it took a hell of a lot of walking and some, some shitty shitty weather but we're here there she blows she's a big one folks so let's uh, get inside like I said I've frequented uh, this one quite a lot when I used to live in this area um, I've picked up a lot of really awesome games here and with any luck I might pick up a few again today. So let's hope we can have a repeat of that last hobby off, shall we? Let's get inside this baby and see what she's got. Starting off, as usual, with some consoles. Plenty of consoles in this place. Uh, you can see here uh, a bunch of PS2s, a slim PS2 with box. It's pretty cool. They got white and black, which is always nice. This cool Dragon Quest controller thing, I have no idea what the hell it is, but it looks pretty damn cool. I'm kind of a sucker for anything Dragon Quest. Uh, Pikachu in 64, boxed, very cool. Super Famicom, boxed. And some N64 there, and then just a lot more Super Famicom and N64s, all different colors, lots of different controllers, um, plenty for the uh, N64 enthusiasts to choose from. Uh, nice Dreamcast there, some very nice shaped Famicoms right there. Uh, kind of hard to come by those, not faded. Uh, and here, very cool, uh, a boxed Famicom, and they went ahead and packed in a copy of Dragon Quest III. And that's about 80 something bucks. Kind of kind of high, actually. Box Dreamcast, Box Mega Drive. Always cool to come across those. And more. Uh, 64 and and uh, Super Famicom here. Very. This is cool. Uh, Sega Saturn. I guess it's the smoke one. It's got the see through shell, which is very cool. And then you got white and gray Saturns as well. Uh, plenty of 3DOs. Which. Uh, that's something, isn't it? Uh, and GameCubes, including the Orange Spice GameCube. 3DO did well in Japan. Or, not well, but better than it did in the States. Over here, some pretty cool stuff. Game & Watch, in this case. It's always nice to come across some Game & Watch. Um, Neo Geo Pockets, Wonder Swans. You got controllers. I think there's a couple of GameCube games in there. There's a Virtual Boy down there. Family Basic for the Famicom. Pretty cool stuff in this case. Already got some PS4s in there. PS3s. PSPs. PS Vitas. DS. 3DS. Everything in this case. All the kind of modern stuff. And then up there some boxed PS4s and PS3s. And here a very cool Final Fantasy 13 edition PlayStation 3. That's about 180 something dollars. And uh, that's pretty darn cool. And you even got some Taiko drums for your troubles. So why not? Buy a Final Fantasy PS3 and some Tyco drums and be a happy camper. And here we are, moving right along to some PS2. Actually, quite a lot of PS2 in here, uh, as is typical for hard offs. They're always going to have a lot of PS2 and PS1, just because those library of games are like in the thousands, you know, just so much. 
Uh, and as also as you know, pretty typical, it is divided by genre. Uh, here you have Tales of Destiny Director's Cut box set, which is very cool. I like the Tales series, and Tales of Destiny was actually the first one I played, so I found that pretty interesting. Uh, but yes, everything divided by genre, JoJo, Guilty Gear. So if you want a fighting game, just go straight to the fighting game section. You want an RPG, go look in the RPG section. Uh, very convenient for those of us who just like specific types of games and uh, don't necessarily have a specific one in mind. Um, so, uh, Prince of Tennis, Armored Core, uh, Dot Hack games, pretty much everything. Uh, think of a PS2 game, you'll probably find it in a PS2 section. In a hard off this, a puzzle game actually featuring Japanese pro wrestlers, which I ended up picking up. It's actually quite a lot of fun. A pro wrestling puzzle game. Uh, very unusual. We got Front Mission, we got Full Metal Alchemist, and uh, Mad Maestro, and Bo, 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 whatever, however many bows. I ended up picking this up. It's actually a really quirky, weird little uh, rhythm, rhythm based game. Um, which is, it's a real oddball game, so I, I do intend to cover it at some point. Let's see, Warriors Orochi, Rockman, X7, and, and much, much more. Always more. You got Metal Gear in there. Just infinite, infinite PS2 games. Negima, uh, a game that I thought was going to be something cool, but then it would appear to be another visual novel. Maximo down there. Bleach. No shortage of Bleach games. A ton of those out there. I actually intend to cover some of those as well, but there's a lot of Bleach games available. Uh, Wild Arms 3, part of that great RPG series. Here's some Xbox 360 stuff. You can see Idol Master, which I do have an Idol Master game. Uh, pretty fun little rhythm games, but uh, also it's very typical for 360 sections to be uh, kind of modest in hard offs. Uh, no, no secret that Xbox isn't exactly flying off the shelves in Japan. Uh, here, this uh, case had some pretty cool stuff in it. wasn't as good as the case in the last door, but there you can see Dungeons and Dragons collection. And we got uh, Torneco there. You can see Kiki Kai Kai for the PC Engine, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Ninja Ryu Kinden for the PC Engine, which is an awesome port of Ninja Gaiden. I've actually reviewed that as well. Uh, Area 88, Rockman 7, Seiken Densetsu 3, Mother, Kunio Kun's Dodgeball, just more and more and more. Gauntlet on the Mega Drive, Ganbari Goemon 3. Mario RPG. There's even a Mario's Time Machine back there, which is uh, the U.S. version for some reason. And then Rockman X, uh, Rockman Seven again, X Two, another copy of Mother. Um, so a, a very nice case. There was some good stuff in it. Uh, just it's trumped by the the case that was at the last place I was in. Um, here, some Dreamcast and Sa uh, Saturn stuff. You see Marvel vs. Capcom. It's all amalgamated into one section. Essentially, just a Sega section biohazard for the saturn which is actually a very good port of that game um I, I i do like it uh dragon ball z legends which i like the saturn cover better than the playstation cover you get a nice super saiyan instead of just regular goku which is cool and then a few more dreamcast games the usual suspects biohazard is always going to be in there and then you get a few gamecube games as well Was that Kaiju Island something? Uh, Mega Drive games. Plenty of Puyo Puyo. Uh, Shura's Gate. Which is a fun little strategy fighting game. Uh, Fatal Fury. Garo Densetsu. Uh, here, Yu Yu Hakusho Gaiden. That's a, a pretty excellent game. As soon as I can start covering Mega Drive games, that's going to be uh, at the top of the list. I do like Yu Yu Hakusho Gaiden. It's one of my favorite anime ever, actually. And some PC Engine. Again, kind of modest um, quiz game. Not exactly my forte, the quiz game, but there you go. But they, they had uh, one or two good titles here. Here, uh, East 3, which I did end up picking that up. Um, they were selling it pretty cheap, and uh, I didn't have it for my PC Engine yet, so.
picked it up. And uh, I was a happy, happy camper. Because I, I love the East series. And then, oh boy, Game Boy. I didn't, have, I did not intend to do that. Oh boy, Game Boy. That's that should have been a tagline somewhere. But some N64 as well, box stuff. You got um, oh, uh, Robo, the one where you put your robots together. Some box Famicom stuff. Uh, the original East, which is good on the Famicom. Not as good as the PC Engine, but what can you do? Uh, still good games, and then just, oh boy, <laughs> so much loose Famicom. Um, you could camp out here for a little while and go through these racks, but you're going to find everything from Mario to Rockman, Dragon Ball Z, Ultraman, Zelda, uh, on and on and on. Um, I found some great deals just going through these little areas here. Um, East 4. This place is loaded with East. But, uh, yeah, going through these racks, I found, you know, DuckTales 2 for, like, $3. And, uh, you know, deals like that. So, uh, definitely look around when you can. Captain Tsubasa. Those are uh, a fun series of sports titles. Very not typical sports titles, though. Not, not your typical soccer game. Um, but box Super Fam Famicom stuff up there. And more loose Famicom carts as well. Uh, another copy of Area 88. Uh, I guess that one's going up in price now. That's definitely more expensive than when I bought mine. It's like twice as much. And then lots of loose Super Famicom cards. So you can see Aladdin and Zelda, Donkey Kong Country, uh, Seiken Densetsu 2. Um, just lots and lots of stuff. Uh, wrestling, you're going to find Gundam, you're going to find everything. Um, so very well stocked, uh, this hard off. Uh, as per usual and then you know some more modern stuff you got your PSP games here um, they're almost definitely gonna have you know PS Vita etc etc yes PS Vita conception um, so very uh, I guess well uniformed uh, um, the average hard off if there's a game you're looking for, or a game system you're looking for games for, there's going to be a section for it, uh, however large or modest it may be. As you can see here, plenty of PS3. Usually priced priced pretty well. Um, doo -doo -doo. I'm not the uh, aficionado on PS3, but I do like the uh, Yakuza series, and this <laughs> a nice big lineup of Ryuga Gotoku games is very cool and then you can see some Naruto, uh, Final Fantasy, Biohazard, uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam, here very cool Dynasty Warriors One Piece, how about that, um, I did not pick that up actually but if I come across it again it's very likely I will, that sounds, that just sounds cool, I'm not a huge One Piece fan but One Piece Dynasty Warriors is intriguing for sure. And we have DS and 3DS games now. The Nintendo goes on. But you can see they got Persona Q and they got Tetris, Doraemon, uh, Rockman X Zero or Zero X. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, very cool. Dragon Quest 9. Uh, Mario 3-on-3 three three Basketball, very cool. Just uh, the Game of Life 3DS for all you Game of Life enthusiasts. And some Wii. You can see a, a Hokuto no Ken, like, pachinko slot game, which I don't get. Some Wii U, some Smash Brothers, Kirby's Epic Yarn, which I love that game. Simple though it may be, uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn definitely has a place in my heart. And obviously... We're coming across some PS1, which is uh, probably my favorite system of all time. You can see there Biohazard 3 and Hajime no Ippo. Uh, lots of good stuff. Uh, I guess I could safely say PS1 is my, my favorite system. Common Rider. Uh, I do like my my uh, my Common Rider quite a bit. And I do have some uh, 
reviews in the works for some uh, Japan exclusive Kamen Rider games. Tobol 2, which is very cool. That's another one that didn't come out uh, outside of Japan, but uh, the Tobol games. Uh, I like. They're fun fighting games, and the adventure modes are cool. And, of course, the art style is by Akira Toriyama, so you can't go wrong there. Uh, Seiken Densetsu. What, did I, what am I saying, Seiken Densetsu? Shin Megami Tensei. I'm sorry. I still have uh, the Seiken Densetsu from that case on my brain. Pro Wrestling. Pro Wrestling. By Human, the same company that makes Clock Tower and Fire Pro Wrestling, or made those, at least. Uh, and something else that I, I don't know what it is, but that was it. And here I believe, yes, uh, the original Initial D, which I'm a, a pretty big Initial D guy, actually. Uh, play a lot of it in the arcades and on the PS2 and PS3. So Initial D is awesome. So that's the original, and that's very cool. And here, because I actually had a few requests by musicians to show off some of the uh, musical uh, instruments and equipment, uh, some of you know I myself am also a guitarist. The average hard off will have a whole section dedicated to nothing but guitarists. So you can see here they've got uh, lots of different brands. They've got BC Rich, Ibanez. They're going to have Fenders, and they will uh, have Epiphones and uh, all kinds of stuff. So pretty much, usually regardless of what what you uh, what brand you're on, Jackson, whatever it may be, they're going to have something for you. And then here you can see they have lots of amps and headstocks and all kinds of stuff for the uh, the guitar players and bass players among us. Um, this may or may not be terribly interesting to you people who came for the games, but uh, but yes, there you go. For those handful of people that wanted to uh, see some cool guitars, there it is. Uh, here in their CD section, they actually had a little section for video game music, video game soundtracks. Um, here's something by Falcom. Actually, lots of soundtracks by Falcom. Uh, Cesarian, which is kind of close to Cesarian, but that's the soundtrack for it. Wild Arms 3, Biohazard 4, some One Piece. This I ended up picking up a Final Fantasy 6. Um, uh, three disc soundtrack actually I ended up picking that up do love that uh, soundtrack Tower of Draga something else something a bunch of random stuff in here I'm not familiar with that doesn't look like a game soundtrack at all and uh, some Final Fantasy X 2 maybe and uh, the original Wild Arms soundtrack right there which is very cool Wild Arms does have an excellent soundtrack Final Fantasy 11 uh, romancing saga they did have some pretty cool stuff in here the only one I picked up though was that uh, Final Fantasy 6 uh, three disc soundtrack which I was very happy with and finally as we must always <laughs> do um, we're in the bargain bins and they had quite a large bargain bin area in this uh, particular hard off nice. somebody tricked out their GBA with some Sonic very cool. Um, but as you can see here, just uh, tons and tons of controllers, peripherals, discarded handhelds, uh, memory cards in here. Which is cool. You can usually buy a memory card for like a dollar, 75 cents, something like that. Um, Wii motion bars, uh, taiko drums, and uh, plenty of the, the Wii Fit things. Just an area to go to for all kinds of miscellaneous stuff uh, in here uh, are lots of just discarded UMDs, PSP games and all just thrown haphazardly in there one Game Gear game which is cool, everybody loves them some Sonic or at least I hope they do 16-bit Sonic anyway um, I do love those little plastic cases for the uh, memory cards those are awesome uh, Vib Ribbon which is an excellent rhythm game Usually in these bargain bins, though, you do find the same games over and over and over again. Uh, Star Gladiator right here. Excellent 3D fighter by Capcom. Um, Tomb Raider 3. You will find lots of copies of Intelligent Cube, tons of sports games. Um, probably plenty of Tekken games. Uh, Tekken 3 right here. 
all the stuff that's sold super super well or isn't in the highest of demand you're gonna find plenty of it so yeah sports games always uh ronda one half is that's cool and you're always gonna find plenty of dragon quest um loose famicom cards here dragon quest 3 back there dragon quest 4 down there um, so you're always going to find a ton of Dragon Quest. You'll probably find plenty of Final Fantasy. Uh, here, Xeno Gears, just laying there, seventy-five cents. Uh, this is not the first time I found a Xeno Gears in a bargain bin, by the way. Just saying. So it's definitely worth uh, the look uh, hunting in there sometimes. Uh, Street Fighter EX Plus Two, I think that was Dragon Quest Seven. So uh, yeah, Dino Crisis. Um, definitely worth looking in the bargain bins. I get a lot of comments of people saying, you know, I would just never leave the bargain bin area. I would just camp out in the bargain bins and hunt and hunt and hunt all day. And, uh, Legend of Mana, trust me, <laughs> I spent many days, uh, doing that. And, uh, got lots of good stuff as a result. And over here, 64. Um labeled everything 108 yen again that's less than a dollar for anything that's in there you saw Mario Party 2 and Mario Golf all that uh, Biohazard 4 that's cool just find a copy of Biohazard 4 laying around in there uh, PS2 section um, Mina no Golf stands out uh, Hot Shots Golf I actually like golf games for some weird reason uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, uh, Hokuto no Ken, the Sega Ages edition in there, a few 360 games, PS3, and then this is cool, um, East 2 Eternal, uh, Ancient East Vanished Final Chapter, uh, I don't know if it was a PC, this looks like a, it's a PC box, but, you yeah. know, uh, but it was just laying on top of some PS3 games. Anyway, uh, that's it um, for this hunt. So, hey, here's some final words. All right, that was pretty good. Um, wasn't quite the, the shocker that that last hobby off was, but uh, they did still have some really cool stuff in there. Um, I actually walked out with a few things uh, a couple of games, soundtrack, so not bad. I'm pretty happy. Uh, that's the off house in Hamura, West Tokyo. If you're ever in the area, check it out. And as usual, thanks for watching. Please come back next time. Take care, everybody.